What's up everyone? Today is Wednesday, February 6, 2019, and this is the inaugural episode of What's Happening Wednesday? The show where we give you a rundown of the biggest gaming news of the week. Before we get started though, I'd like to give a shout out and a warm welcome to the newest member of the Cricket Party, Original Kaiser. If you've been watching our Twitch streams recently, you may have noticed Kaiser streaming with us and under our banner for quite a while. We look forward to gaming with him and his shooter expertise much more often in the future. Now, let's get down to business. This week marked the surprise Monday release of Respawn's free-to-play team-based battle royale Apex Legends. If you don't know, Respawn is the company behind the critical darling but not super popular Titanfall first person shooter series. While many fans were upset that Respawn was not actually working on Titanfall 3 and that the game takes place in the Titanfall universe but does not contain the signature Titans, early players of the game, including myself and Kaiser, believe that Apex Legends is a very sharp package. You can catch gameplay from Kaiser on our Twitch channel, and if you want to play for yourself, Apex Legends is available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC now. Speaking of battle royales, Behemoth Fortnite, already known for its frequent game changes and events, did something pretty cool this past week. They held a live in-game concert by Marshmello, electronic music producer and DJ. If you don't know who Marshmello is, don't worry. You don't have to know him to understand that for 10 minutes, millions of gamers all over the world attended a virtual interactive concert in a video game. I mean, I'm not a Fortnite fan myself, but I understand events like this are what truly set this game apart from the competition. If you want to watch the concert yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you want to see what all the Fortnite hubbub is about, the game is available for free on many phones and tablets and all current gen consoles. BioWare's long-awaited shoot and loot Iron Man simulator, Anthem, had its public demo last weekend. This was right on the heels of prior weekend's VIP demo exclusive to press and pre-orders that garnered a mixed response from players. Last weekend, everyone got a chance to feel the game out for themselves. For what I personally experienced, there weren't as many of the odd glitches and connection issues that seemed to be marring the VIP demo. But we at the Cricket Party also weren't wowed by anything we saw. Could this AAA game, marked by setbacks and delays, still be successful? Well, we'll see when Anthem releases on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC on February 22nd. Although, EA Early Access members with an Xbox One or PC can play as early as February 15th. The most popular new game right now is Kingdom Hearts 3, the long-awaited supposed final chapter in Tetsuya Nomura's epic Disney Final Fantasy action RPG crossover that dropped last week. Phil and Mackie are especially pumped to play this one as they are longtime fans. I don't even think it matters if it's good, as any Kingdom Hearts fan will have to play to complete their story anyway. You can watch Mackie play parts of Kingdom Hearts 3 on the official Cricket Party Twitch page, but if you want to experience the epic ending for yourself, Kingdom Hearts 3 is available now on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. As far as streaming this week goes, Mackie's looking to stream Kingdom Hearts 3, usually on Monday and Tuesdays, late at night about 10 or 11 p.m. Kaiser will be playing Apex Legends and Rocket League, usually in the afternoons at about noon on weekdays, or late, late at night at about 2, 1, 2, or 3 a.m. And yours truly will be playing Wargroove and Splatoon 2, Weekdays at about 11 a.m., uh, sometimes at 1, depending on uh, when the Splatoon 2 stages change over. And of course, every Friday you can join me at 1 p.m. to play an indie game of the week. This week I'm reviving the Less Push-Up series, playing Thumper. If you've never seen Less Push-Ups, it's where I get down and do 10 push-ups for every mistake I make in the game. And I make a lot of mistakes in Thumper, so... You know, there's that. All right, everyone. That's it for this week's What's Happening Wednesday. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you like to see more. And join us next Wednesday, same party time, same party channel, for your gaming news rundown.